What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. Today, we've got another live fantasy football mock draft for you back on ESPN with a 12-team full PPR mock where we'll be selecting third overall, so should be pretty interesting. And while we wait for this thing to kick off, a quick reminder, if you enjoy, hit that like button, subscribe, give us a follow on Twitter at AllDayPigskin to continue interacting with us there. Let us hear it in the comment section. Do you agree, disagree, along with any other questions you guys might have? We'll do our best to answer them all. But with that being said, let's dive into it. The draft is officially underway. With the first pick, I expect Christian McCaffrey. Uh, I'd be shocked with anything else. You know, uh, then two, probably either Brees Hall or CeeDee Lamb. And at three, you know, we've got a decent uh, chance at two guys that I like at the running back position in Brees Hall or Bijan Robinson. Or we could go with a Tyreek Hill. Now, I will say in the mock draft that we've done on ESPN, there's a higher chance that um, a running back falls to us in the second, third round. But in the last one, we kind of got burnt, got sniped a lot. So let's just go land a running back right here with Brees Hall, a guy that we like. And let's see what happens with the wide receiver situation in the late second round. You know, I, I will say when you're picking at the start here of uh, of the first round, the first three, four picks, it's tough. Uh, it can be tough because, you know, there's a lot of good options, I, I, I would argue, at the, uh, at the start of the draft if you want to go wide receiver or if you want to go running back. Um, but then you kind of open yourself up to getting sniped, to uh, missing out on a lot of players, uh, because anytime you're on either end of the extreme, you just have to wait so long in between picks that, uh, you know, guys that might be falling, well, essentially much, much lower chances that they actually get back to you in the following round. But look, either way, that's more draft philosophy than I want to actually get into in this actual mock draft. Let's actually take a look at the selections. Looking at the pick history, obviously we had McCaffrey and CeeDee Lamb who we saw a goal before us. Then we selected Brees Hall, then Bijan Robinson. So I like to see that the top three running backs uh, were three of the first four picks. I really, really endorse that. You guys know how I feel about um, running backs and their importance. I think basically, uh, if you haven't heard my spiel already, they're still king. Uh, then the wide receivers, Tyreek, Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. Amon Ross St. Brown, okay, A.J. Brown. And man, Jonathan Taylor and Saquon Barkley both making it into the first round as well. So we had five, if my count is correct, five first round running backs. Again, I like to see that. I think some more people are kind of getting back on board with that after the huge season that McCaffrey had last year. And then Garrett Wilson, last pick in the first round. I love that pick. Then you see Puka, Derek Henry with the second pick in the second round in a full PPR scoring format. It's pretty wild to me. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I think that guys like Kyron Williams, Jameer Gibbs, probably, probably safer. Yeah. Um, then you see Michael Pittman, you see Jameer Gibbs. So Michael Pittman pretty early on, but hey, I've done it before in other mocks. So let's quickly see what we're working with here. Ooh, unfortunately, uh, guys like Travis Etienne and Chris Olave were drafted, both guys that I really like. Um, Marvin Harrison is there for me at the end of the second round, but you know, there's guys that I would rather go with. I think that a Drake London here is pretty tempting. Uh, and then if, maybe if I can pair him up with like a Nico Collins in the third round, I feel pretty good about that. Uh, if we want to go running backs like Joe Mixon, James Cook, uh, Rashad White, Alvin Kamara. Alvin Kamara is ranked, uh, I, I would say, a lot higher here than in some other platforms that I've seen. So that's something to keep in mind. Um, let's see what other wide receivers here we're working with. So Devonta Smith just got drafted. Rashad White before that. You know, wide receivers, I, I mentioned, pro whoa, Cooper Cup with the first pick in the third round. Hey, I like it. <laughs> you know, there's some mock drafts we've done where Cooper Cup falls to us like in the fourth round, something like that. So there is that. Um, let's see what else we have here. Marvin Harrison, still available in the third round. 
Now, this is where we're getting more towards me co- uh, feeling comfortable uh, towards selecting him. And, you know, maybe I should put my mouth where or my money where my mouth is and say, OK, if the value for Marvin Harrison is actually there, then all right, draft him. So I think this is our first stock of Marvin Harrison in any mock draft that we have done. Uh, and again, you know, hand up just so you guys are aware in ESPN, he's ranked lower uh, than in a lot of other platforms. So we go with Marvin Harrison, um, again, more so doing that because I want to illustrate that I think this is much more appropriate of where his ADP should actually be. And honestly, I think you can make the argument it should probably be like six, seven, eight picks lower than this, but okay, uh, I get it. Uh, Conversation again for another time. Um, Going back to our pick history though, You know, we've got Brees Hall, we've got Drake London, we've got Marvin Harrison. In the second round, things that we saw, um, you know, we kind of went over it after a Drake London pick, Rashad White, Devonta Smith. Um, I feel like there's been some more reaches here. I mean, granted, it's it's been with some guys that I like, so it's not too crazy, but there's been some really interesting value fall here. And and again, I want to highlight that. So Cooper Cup in the third round. I think the third round is really where things got interesting here. Spicy Cooper Cup with the first pick in the third uh, Alvin Kamara, I told you that he's ranked here a lot higher on ESPN than some other platforms. We went with Marvin Harrison, um, taking advantage of that ADP difference uh, in what I think is more realistic than Mike Evans, DK Metcalf, Travis Kelsey, a decent value, uh, Joe Mixon, Nico Collins, a tremendous, tremendous value uh, with the eighth pick in the third round, then James Cook. A-Chain, Stephon Diggs, and now Brendan Ayuk. So again, really good value on some of these guys with Ayuk. These, uh, you know, I don't want to call them middle tier wide receivers. I think they can still be top 12 wide receivers in Diggs and Ayuk, something like that. Uh, Sam Laporta, second, or er, yeah, second tight end drafted after Travis Kelsey, who was drafted with the sixth pick in the third round. Laporta goes with the first pick in the fourth. So I, I do think most people have them as like, either one or two kind of interchangeable. Uh, Then Debo Samuel with the second pick in the fourth round. So right now we're pretty good on wide receivers, honestly. Like we've got Drake London, we've got Marvin Harrison, guys that I'm really high on. Ooh, a guy that I was also really, really hoping would fall to us in Josh Jacobs does not in fact. So now at the running back position, unless there's a huge run, like we're looking at guys like Kenneth Walker, Aaron Jones. So... I mean, just going back to the pick history, I think that if we hadn't gone with Drake London or Marvin Harrison, like instead of Drake London, we could have gone or shot white or we can have gone Alvin uh, Kamara first and then selected another one of those um, wide receivers. We also passed on Mixon. We passed on James Cook, Josh Jacobs. I th- that would have been way too early for Josh Jacobs. I think way too early for James Cook. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I, I can't be too mad about that. Josh Allen was selected. Uh, Kenneth Walker was selected. I think here our best bet is to go with Aaron Jones. We need a running back. Um, to me right now, he's the highest ranked running back, I think kind of by far. So I'm going Aaron Jones here. Ramondre Stevenson maybe could be our third guy, but you know, uh, I, I have some question marks. Again, let's go back quickly to the pick history to see what happened in that fourth round before our Aaron Jones selection. Uh, Debo, Jalen Waddle, Josh Jacobs, Rip, uh, DJ Moore, Josh Allen. I believe that was the first quarterback selected, right? Josh Allen, uh, unless I'm missing somebody. Uh, did I miss any other quarterbacks get selected? I don't think so. We'll see. Uh, Josh Allen, Anthony Richardson, super high up. Kenneth Walker, Mark Andrews, Aaron Jones, Kevin Ridley, Lamar, Malik Neighbors, and now David Montgomery. Yo, we're still on the clock, and and, and Hurts and Mahomes are still there. Like, that's kind of tempting, but so is Trey McBride. Ooh, I already have Marvin Harrison, though. Man, I really... uh, But that's a really good tight end advantage. I think I might go with Trey McBride here. And I can't believe I'm doubling up on the Arizona Cardinals of any teams, you know, as far as fantasy football is concerned. But damn, all right, I guess we did it. Uh, Trey McBride, 
and Marvin Harrison. So, um, you know, a lot of eggs in one basket, probably looking at it, back at it, you know, instead of Marvin Harrison having gone with, you know, a Nico Collins would have been better for the way this roster kind of ended up being constructed. But again, want to be fully transparent with, uh, you know, with you, um, not going to sugarcoat it. Uh, after a Trey McBride pick, Zay Flowers, Jalen Hurts, George Pickens, Tank Dell. I love the George Pickens pick. You know, and, and now we're officially in territory where I can say, okay, pull the trigger on these top tier quarterbacks. I think it's time. Uh, Jalen Hurts being available in the fifth round, pretty crazy. Patrick Mahomes shouldn't still be available. Like he should, I, I don't think he should be drafted after CJ Stroud, like after Anthony Richardson is, is bananas. Uh, I was came very, very, very close to selecting Patrick Mahomes over Trey McBride just because, again, I mean, if it was a 10-team league, positional advantage matters, um, but, like, value at this point in time is pretty, pretty nuts. Yeah, finally, at the end of the fifth round, with the 11th pick in the fifth round, and again, this is a 12-team league, tremendous value for Patrick Mahomes. It might be my favorite pick of this entire draft up to now. Um so kudos to that person. As far as what else we're looking at right now, Ramondre Stevenson, per the ranking, still a good value. I think Jonathan Brooks is ranked way too high here uh, for a plethora of reasons. Like, I mean, he's coming off an ACL. He is on a team that has way too many running backs. You know, uh, Chuba, you've got Miles Sanders still there. Um, it's That's going to be a messy situation where I think... I like Jonathan Brooks. I like the draft pick. I get it why it was made, but I think he's more so like a, a a more viable draft piece for like 2025, if I have to be honest with you guys. Um, now we're seven picks away from making another selection. You know, we did go with Trey McBride and looking at these other tight ends like Evan Ingram, I would have really liked, would have really liked Kyle Pitts potentially. So, um, we we could have gone elsewhere, right? The, there there was the potential, um, but M- Trey McBride at the tight end position, I do think, can give us that positional advantage. So uh, I'm not going to get too hung up on it. If I didn't go with him, probably would have gone with Patrick Mahomes. Um, also, George Pickens, uh, he would have been tempting. So those were kind of the favorites, I would say, in that fifth round. What else did we see? We saw Zay Flowers, Jalen Hurts, Great Value, George Pickens, Tank Dell, Dalton Kincaid, so another tight end, CJ Stroud, T. Higgins, Mahomes, Amari Cooper. Uh, In the sixth round, Ramondre, finally that value, Rasheed Rice. We'll see what happens with his off-the-field stuff. Keenan, DeAndre, James Conner, Jonathan Brooks, way too early, Godwin, Swift, and ooh, we got sniped on Zamir White. Come on, man. Whew. That's tough. Yeah, we could have probably waited for tight end. I'm not going quarterback with Dak or Joe Burrow. I think Terry McLaurin is by far and away the best pick right now. You know, a a solid flex piece. There goes Evan Ingram, Jalen Warren, David Njoku. What do we have at running back? We need some more running back depth. Oof. I don't love the situation. Brian Robinson, Najee Javante, Tony Pollard, Spears, Zach Moss. I feel like we wait at this point in time. So wide receiver, I do like Deontay Johnson. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Quarterbacks, um, I'm going to wait on the quarterbacks. I will. You know, probably I would have gone with Kyler Murray. Oh, Jesus Christ, that would have been way too many Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, um, I, you know, I, I like the stacks myself, but um, that's, again, three guys on the same offense. It's way too much. I cut it off at two. So uh, yeah, we we went with Deontay Johnson, a wide receiver that I've been high on before. I think his presence in Carolina is going to be a really good thing for Bryce. uh, And it's going to be a better thing for him compared to playing with Kenny Pickett. Um, So looking at the squad, we definitely need running back depth. I think that's the glaring need right now. I don't feel super great about having two Arizona Cardinals. I'm not going to lie to you. So in future drafts, uh, especially on ESPN, because I feel like this is the platform where it's more most inducive to having something like this possible in terms of like good value ADPs. Um, 
maybe looking at another wide receiver or another another tight end being a little bit more patient with like a Kyle Pitts or an Evan Ingram. Um, so just something to consider. Uh, so far, otherwise, in this, I guess, seventh round, we see Dak, we see Jordan Addison. Let's look at it by pick history here. Um, yeah, Dak, Jordan Addison, Brad Robinson, Najee, Marquise Brown, uh, Spears, Christian Kirk, Mike Williams, Javante Williams. Um, you know, there's nine picks until we make another selection. Quarterbacks. I really like Aaron Rodgers. So get me that little stack with him and Brees Hall. I don't mind that. At running back, Zeke. I mean, maybe Raheem Mostert. Um, who the hell knows what happens with Nick Chubb? Let's see, honestly, if there's any updates with him and his injury. Um, but I'm not seeing anything. I mean, yeah, basically uncertainty of Chubb's eventual recovery from knee injury. Um, approach with caution. That's pretty much what I've said since uh, since May, since I don't know when, right? Um, basically, we need to have more information. <laughs> uh, long story short. So Jerome Ford could be just the better pick overall. Um, right now, I guess just go and get our quarterback, you know, go and get Aaron Rodgers, a uh, little bit of a reach at this point in time, but, um, I think we're going to only make one more selection and kind of wrap this thing up. I, I'm seeing a lot of auto picks, stuff like that. So Austin Eckler just got selected. We need to add another running back here. So, you know, Singletary, Chubb, Corum, Jerome Ford, I feel like Jerome Ford is the one that makes more sense uh, right now just because there's so many question marks. I mean, you got Gus Edwards with the Chargers, but Dobbins is also there. So I guess maybe Chase Brown is also an option, but I'll go with Jerome Ford. You know, I, I think Ford is probably like the start of the season guy and then Chubb maybe the end of the season guy. Big maybe, big question mark. So that's how I'm going to treat it, though. But overall, I think it's a good place to kind of wrap things up. We filled out our starting roster. We've got some bench pieces as well. But to kind of read it through, Rodgers, Brees Hall, we got that little stack. I'm higher on Rodgers than most. Aaron Jones. So, yeah, I mean, big kind of drop off from the first to the second overall running back spot. But you can kind of afford to do that when you've got a high octane guy like Hall. Wide receivers I like, you know, Drake London, good value, Marvin Harrison, good value, or better value than other flip platforms, McBride, good value, I like McLaurin, then Deontay Johnson, Ford, so not too bad, but I think we could switch the order up on some stuff here, uh, you know, maybe have gotten like an uh, Alvin Kamara um, as our second overall running back, so I, I think that would have looked a little bit better, and then uh, been a little bit more patient with Kyle Pitts, but overall, I think a decent exercise. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comment section. If you enjoyed, hit that like button, subscribe, give us a follow on Twitter at All Day Pigskin to continue interacting with us there. But in the meantime, we'll see you guys in future videos.